Dwayne here. Got a big full-size Royal 10 on the bench. This video we're going to, <clears throat> again, clean type and flush this segment, which are, some of these keys were jammed. I couldn't even move them. Um, the customer tried to do some of it. But they got stuck, too. I got these all to work because I wanted to verify they worked, so I flushed it actually why they were waiting to make sure they all moved and didn't have more serious problems so they they do all move but they're just all still stuck with old oil combined with new oil combined with age so that's going to be on the video but in the meantime I have fixed a lot of things on this typewriter the whole paw assembly was missing the shoulder screw and completely missing I actually made a shoulder screw assembly here this back panel here was bent every which way but right seriously bent so I've got that actually straight not as good as I'm gonna get it here it lines up pretty good again the feed rollers well not the feed rollers in general but the platen completely slipped on the core it, it just wasn't even attached, just slipped as easy as could be, so that's been glued, it's, it's actually drying right now. Feed rollers on this were bad. So the rear one on here is this big rubber roller, and it's got a flat spot. Now what I've done already is I took down the edge of this so it's not as bad. I'm going to see if that works okay. If not, I've got the more current all metal one I think will fit in there this looks about the right size so if this back one doesn't work good enough I'll put this metal one in front ones were just as bad these feed rollers in the front here were also flat here's the royal uh, rollers and the old ro ro rollers were uh, uh, here and they're flat these are actually replacement rollers that I took from a similar shaft from some other typewriter I saved like this. And I just swapped them out on the shaft. I had to cut this small one, this one in the center down because the royals are smaller in the center. And then I had to put some spacers in here to get this spaced out just right. But that went pretty, pretty slick. Good thing I saved some of these old rollers from some old machines that happened to match up to that royal which is why I saved those things. So this also needed right platen knob. It's been replaced. Oh, the list is long on this. What else did I do? Back panel. Oh, the draw band back here was completely missing, so that's been already replaced. Platen variable was bound up not only in this shaft, but this piece, so I've got that all snappy working good again so let's tackle this segment now it's probably the last major thing I got to do to it before I start buttoning up process so in preparation for this I've got my towel down here to absorb excess fluid I got this panel off get out of the way put it somewhere safe and what I'm gonna do here initially is dust the machine with some oil. So that's what I like to do first just to protect it from the blacker thinner that I use. I'm going to actually do the sides a little bit. Keyboard even. The side. Just rub it on. It gets good coating. And that way, if I have any splash from my lacquer center, it has a tendency to fly sometimes. It won't, uh, won't harm the paint. Do the back here just, just for fun. So that's been prepared. Now what I do under here is put a designated towel right underneath the slugs just so it doesn't 
chemical doesn't get into that type rest pad too much. I don't mind the chemicals getting down on the bars because that's what I've got to do to clean it. Anyhow, so let me get some more light on here. And now I'm also going to turn on my fan, exhaust fan, and extra lighting right there. That makes a little bit of noise, and I've got the compressor on, so that makes noise too. And I'm going to cover up the keyboard here with another rag, just for double safety on the keyboard. Well, this keyboard's not it's glass. It really doesn't have any effect chemicals on this, unless you get it wet, wet, like soapy wet. Okay, so we're going to I forgot why those aren't coming down all the way. But I will. It's not the major problem. It's probably just a link. Oh, maybe it's just even. So let's. Soak this with some black of center. And I'm going to do initial wipe off. the key slugs and then I'm gonna redo it. I think I'll, I'm gonna spray up in here and just start letting this soak soak in here while I'm doing this. And I'm gonna do initial another wipe down real quick. And then I'm gonna hit it with the uh, wire brush. Since you can see these type slugs when you're looking at the typewriter, I'll try to get these things cleaned up really good. Because that's one of the one of the visual spots you see when you uh, look at these. So it's nice to have them looking looking good. as you can get on these. Try to get the uh, shine back in the slugs after 100 years. Try to get these to look a little prettier. Run this on the tight bars a little bit. Let's see if we can get some of that. process here. Keep one of the key factors to getting old gunky oil as out of here is let this stay wet as long as possible. This chemical up in here, the, the longer it stays wet and has it able to break down the old oil, the better. So that seems to be a key factor in getting some of this old oil to break down and then uh, then you've got to be aggressive with the air and get that stuff flushed out out like a complete oil change not a half oil change let's hit this again with some air okay let's do this wet again I think the Type faces are about as good as they're going to get here, the type slugs. So we're going to finish this up here and focus on the type segment now. Just one more time. So I think these are done.
So now we can just focus back here on the segment. And it's best to get these to pivot. Move them a little bit like this. And get that stuff worked in those slots. See these ones here? You gotta work them. You gotta work these bars and flex them a little side to side if necessary. And just keep keep at it here. These were really bad, so I'm gonna check each one of these now. See that one's still sticking a little bit. sticking a little. Just work it. T is still sticking. Just got to keep working it. it Seem like the worst were right here in the center on this machine. So I'm going to try to keep that wet in there. It looks like they're all working now. Bar's a little, a little slow. There's one that's sticking over here on the edge. Still sticking there. There, it worked out a little bit extra. That's crazy how how bad this one was. Let's see if you can get. Under here a little bit. top. And that's going to be it for now. I'm going to follow with neutral. Just like that. Maybe a little under here. Also, rub it in there a little bit. I'm gonna air blow that out. Come back and check it later, but I bet you that pretty much does it. All right, quite the improvement. All right, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.